In this video, I'm going to cover motion, distance and displacement, speed, velocity and acceleration. So we'll start with motion. Motion is the change in location of an object. It basically means moving or movement. Now motion is relative. Although you are sitting still now, you are actually moving at 100,000, this number here, 100,000 kilometers per hour relative to the sun. So although you are sitting down watching this video now, relative to the sun, the earth is moving at 100,000 kilometers per hour. So next we'll have a look at the example of a boy standing on a bus holding a pencil above his head. So relative to the bus, what is the speed of the pencil? So relative to the floor of the bus, the pencil is not moving, so the speed would be zero kilometers per hour. The second point, relative to the road, what is the speed of the pencil? So the pencil and the boy and everything on the bus relative to the road is moving at 100 kilometers per hour. So that second answer there is 100 kilometers per hour. Third point, suppose you drop the pencil while it is falling and relative to the road, what is the speed of the pencil? So the speed of the pencil relative to the road is always going to be 100 kilometers per hour. Um, so when you drop the pencil, this means that the pencil will hit the floor at a place. So will the pencil land behind you here? Will it land at your feet below where you dropped it here? Or will it land in front of you? Well, of course, if you drop the pencil, it'll land directly below where you dropped it. So the answer there is at your feet below your hand. And the last point, relative to you, the way the pencil drops relative to you is the same as if the bus were at rest. Next, we look at distance and displacement. So we start with distance. Distance is how far an object has moved. It is a scalar quantity. A, a scalar quantity has only magnitude. That means size. Now, let's look at displacement. Displacement is how far an object has moved from its original position. Now, displacement is a vector quantity. A vector quantity has magnitude or size, and it also has a direction. So let's have a look at an example to see the difference between distance and displacement. So a student walks four meters east, two meters south, four meters west, and then two meters north. So they start here and they walk four meters that's east, uh, two meters south, four meters west, and then two meters north. So they're back to where they started. What is the distance the student has walked? So that's four plus two plus four plus two. That equals 12 meters. What is the student's displacement? Now remember, displacement is the distance or how far you've moved from the original position. Well, they're back to where they started, so the student's displacement is zero meters. And the last point, explain the difference between distance and displacement. Well, distance is how far you've moved, and it's a scalar quantity. And displacement is how far you've moved from your original position, and it's a vector quantity. Next is speed and velocity. So we'll start with speed. Speed is how fast an object is moving. It is a scalar quantity. It has only size. The unit for speed is meters per second. That's m uh, forward slash s. Next is velocity. Velocity is speed with a direction. So if it has a direction. It's a vector quantity. If either the speed or the direction, so speed or direction of an object changes, its velocity changes. Next is average speed versus instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is the speed at any given instant in time. So if you if you are driving in your parents car and you have a look at the the speedometer that tells you your instantaneous speed. Now average speed of an object can be found by dividing the distance by the time. So average speed equals distance divided by time and the unit is meters per second. Okay, next we'll have a quick look at these questions, starting with number one, explain the difference between speed and velocity. Speed is how fast you are going, it's a scalar quantity, and velocity is speed with a direction. 
Number two, does a speedometer in a car measure average or instantaneous speed? The speedometer measures instantaneous speed. And we'll try number three. If a car travels 400 meters in 20 seconds, how fast is it going? Use the equation average speed equals distance divided by time. And the answer is 20 meters per second. And finally, we look at acceleration. So acceleration is a vector quantity. That means it has a size and a direction. And it's defined as the rate at which an object changes its speed. An object is accelerating if its speed or its direction is changing. The unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Acceleration can be calculated by the following equation. The acceleration equals the change in the velocity divided by the time. And we look at this example, there's a car on a circular track with a constant speed, but its velocity is changing every instant. Why? Well, even though the car has a constant speed, its direction is constantly changing. So remember that velocity is speed with a direction. So therefore, if the direction is changing, then the velocity of the car is also changing. 